Hi there, my name is Michael Parkin and I designed and built my security system. My security system consists of sensors that detect pressure and motion. These signals are then manipulated in the LabVIEW programming environment. Basic LabVIEW functions are used as well as the numerous inputs and outputs available on the MyDAC. The pressure and motion sensors make use of some of the eight digital IOs available on the MyDAC. The audio out is also used as an output which propagates the alarm sound. So let's take a look at the front panel. As you can see, when the pressure pad is activated, the light on the front panel will also be activated. Similarly, when this is changed to the motion sensor, the light is activated by the motion sensor. If you change the control to both sensors, then the indicator will come on when either sensor has been activated. If you want to close the code and essentially deactivate the alarm, simply enter the correct password into the area below. Once this stops the code, you've essentially deactivated the alarm. So let's take a look at the block diagram. As you can see, the block diagram is split into two sections, the top section and the bottom section. Now the top section deals with mainly all of the digital inputs coming from the MIDAC. This is the sensors. It also deals with the output, in this case the audio output, which makes the beeping sound. The final case structure is to do with the writing to the measurement file, which will be shown later. The bottom half of the code relates to the password checker. If the correct password is put in, it checks it to the one predetermined and will stop the code if they match up. As we have logged all our measurements to file, we can open the file and see exactly which sensor was activated at what time. So all of this shows how easy it is to create a simple security system using basic LabVIEW functions and a National Instruments MIDAC. I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching.